Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you in great spirits and having a wonderful, wonderful day. If you are new to this channel and this is the first video, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you join us. And you should probably click that little red button wherever it is. Um, if you like luxury reviews, skincare products, organization, planning, lifestyle, home decor, basically if you like anything, you should probably subscribe because I bring content to you around those topics every single week. And we are a community that is quickly growing. Uh, with just approaching two months of this channel, we are at 1,300 subscribers and um, hopefully many more will be joining along with the journey. Also, if you are new here, you should know that there is a luxury Louis Vuitton giveaway happening and you have until February 20th to enter. I will leave links to the video down below that lets you know all of the entry details, but basically I will be traveling off to Paris in a week and I will be purchasing a Louis Vuitton small leather good from the flagship store on the Champs-Élysées and I will be giving it to one of my lucky subscribers because without you none of this exists and I am so grateful and just want to give back. And you should also know that we'll be doing giveaways for every 1,000 subscribers that we earn so uh, stay tuned for all of that. Highly, highly requested video was for me to do a little bit of a travel series. So I have a couple of videos coming this week that all involve packing and what I do to prepare for travel. And today is a what's in my bag carry-on edition. So I am excited to jump on in, so let's go ahead. For anybody who's watched any of my what's in my bag videos, you know that it is the Mary Poppins of bags and I carry everything but the kitchen sink. I have a theory when it comes to bags and carrying items. I wanna make sure that I have absolutely everything I could possibly ever, ever need, um, just in case I get stranded for 70 days. Um, no, but seriously, I like to feel really prepared and that is one thing that I find that really eases my stress, whether it's in my work bag or in a carry-on. I like to know that in any situation, I have what I need to make myself feel really comfortable. And I also have to give a shout out to Christina Brawley. If you have never viewed her channel, A, what have you been doing with your life? Because it is one of my favorite channels of all time. Um, I will definitely leave her information linked below, but she did an amazing travel vlog of a trip to Italy and her carry-on um, was this Burberry backpack. So when it was time for this trip to France, I wanted something really stylish that I could carry around on the day-to-day -day, and I really sought inspiration and her recommendation around her Burberry backpack. So I got online and they had this really great large men's version of the same bag. And this is the bag. It is the Burberry Large Nylon Rucksack. Um, and it is a great carry-on bag, plus it's something super stylish that you could throw on and take during the day while you're traveling. Um, it's pretty simple. What's nice is these look like really sturdy buckles, which they are, but for ease, they're simply just snaps. And then it's the normal rucksack drawstring opening. It's hard to see on camera. Just a drawstring opening, a large front pocket, and then two side pockets as well. Um, I also really like the back of the bag is quilted and very padded and very like strong leather straps. So without further ado, let's get into what's in my bag. And I wish I had a setup for you to see me getting into the bag, but we'll just have to make it work. And you can use your imagination. Let's go ahead and dive into the pockets. Um, the first thing that I keep in the front pocket is my iPhone 7 Plus in matte black and this case is from the case factory i've been getting lots of questions on instagram and other videos it is from the case factory it was recommended by lydia elise millen on her channel uh, she is absolutely phenomenal and it's just a really great high-end leather case also in the front pocket i keep my my amazon kindle so that i could keep and as you can see i need to charge it right now um, i keep all my books on here I am an avid reader, so it's really important that I have multiple books because right now I'm actually reading two. I'm reading The Underground Railroad and The Husband's Wife. I think that's what it's called, A Husband's Wife. Um, so I'm reading two books and I don't want to carry those, so I use my Kindle for everything. The next thing I have, and a video is coming on this tomorrow, is my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. I use this as my travel journal to keep all my travel documents and I also use it as my passport holder. 
So this becomes my wallet and everything that I possibly need. And then in my keep all, I keep a couple different card holders that I can use just while I'm traveling to take just my wallet. Um, so a uh, setup video for a travel planner um, is coming tomorrow. So look forward to that. In the side pockets then, I keep my vlogging camera. I recently just switched over to this vlogging camera and the feedback about it has been really great. I was using a Canon M3 um, and have switched over for a little bit to the Sony A5100 and I've really enjoyed it. The only downfall is if you film like over 20 minutes it overheats and you have to let it cool down but as far as the quality, the quick autofocus, um, I really really like this. I've also been using this for a lot of my flat lays or Instagram shots because it has Wi-Fi and you can transfer your video, your video you could transfer your photo right over. So really have been enjoying this. In the other side pocket, I keep a power bank and a charger. And this power bank is also a recommendation from Christina Brawley. I have a very heavy metal one that I use for work. I have put it in my What's In My Bag video. It's the best power bank ever, but it is really large and it is really heavy. So uh, Christina Brawley actually recommended this unicorn emoji one. She has it in white. They also have it in black. And I went ahead and picked it up for this trip and I'm excited to use it. Now, as far as the power cord, I don't know if any of you have like iPads. I have an iPad Pro, the big 12.9, and it comes with an extremely long power cord. And always take the longer power cord with you when you travel because what I love to do is I don't want that power bank like sitting out on my lap or having to mess with it. So I literally plug this into the power bank and then just run the cord from my bag up to my seat. So I really only have to worry about my phone and you don't have that that juggling of the power bank. So if you have a longer cord or if you hop on Amazon, you can get them really reasonably priced. It's really nice to be able to keep the power bank in your bag and just hold on to your iPhone. Also when I'm traveling for work, because I travel quite frequently, a couple times a month, I love it because I can leave the power bank in my bag and I can still carry my phone and walk through the airport while charging because the cord is long enough. Uh, just a little travel tip from me to you. That's it for the external pocket, so let's go ahead and dive into the main part of the bag. So the first thing in the main compartment of my bag is my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what I carry in my toiletry bag for the flight because these are all the things that I need to feel really comfortable and feel really prepared for the trip. So the first thing in my toiletry bag is two SK2 facial treatment masks. I got this recommendation um, from a couple different people. Christina Brawley, Estee Lalonde talked about it, and I believe Amelia also talked about taking facial masks. So I started doing that over the last year, and it is a game changer. And my favorite facial mask and facial brand, if you've seen any of my videos, is SK2. So I have two of these facial masks pack, one for the way there, one for the way back. So I always have one of those with me. The next thing I have is my EO spray hand sanitizer in the lavender scent. If you have seen any of my What's In My Bag videos, you know that this is my all-time favorite hand sanitizer. I recommend everyone to switch over to a spray one instead of a gel. It is just so much nicer to have. Um, highly recommend. The next thing I have is a deodorant. This is Fresh Sugar Roll-On Antiperspirant. Deodorant is very personal. I don't feel like you should ever take a deodorant recommendation from anyone because I feel like everybody's body is different. This stuff really works for me. It doesn't smell strong and I like it because I can just simply like roll it on and then keep rolling on. <laughs> that was the worst joke ever. But I love a bad joke so it literally makes me laugh. Um, the next thing I have is I get these little travel jars from Target. They are TSA size approved. And in here, because on a plane it's so dry and you want to be moisturized, I put my Lush Sleep Lotion in there. A, because it is the best, most moisturizing, buttery, smooth moisturizer I own. And the smell is so relaxing and so rich with lavender that you just want to fall asleep. And what better way to pass a flight than to fall asleep. And then you also have it when you get to the hotel room, which also makes me feel a lot more comfortable. The next thing I have in my toiletry is Wet Ones antibacterial wipes. I do wipe down the entire plane seat when I get in. If you've watched any of my videos, you also know that I am a germaphobe in some ways. I wipe down everything 
uh, handles on shopping carts, so I always have wet ones with me because I will wipe down the armrest, the tray, all of that stuff. And you need somewhere to throw that stuff away, so I always carry two Ziploc bags with me. I hate when you start like getting and gathering trash on a long flight and you like have to put it in like the that little elastic holder in front of you or like it's laying around you. I can't stand garbage around me. So I keep Ziploc bags and I will put my own garbage in here and then just shove it in my bag. And the first thing I do when I get off the flight is I rip out the Ziploc bag, toss it in the garbage can. Um, the next thing is some Kleenexes because you never know, you need to blow your nose. Some eye drops, some Bosha oil blotters, a tied to go pen because you will inevitably spill something on you. I have my old man hipster wire rimmed glasses. I use those because if you fall asleep with them, you can bend them back into place very quickly. Then I have some lens wipes. Ugh. Clark's Botanicals Lip Balm. It is my absolute favorite. On a flight, you want your lips to feel really moisturized. This stuff is wonderful. I keep a roller ball of Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Um, and this is the bourbon, the one that I talk about baking a cake, being a little drunk, that smell. I like the roller ball on a plane because if you want to like freshen up as you're getting ready to land, you don't want to be spraying something because you want to be sensitive to the people around you. So I find a roller ball like distributes just enough and it's not going to overpower anyone, um, just to be polite. I keep a little manicure set just in case you need it. And then I would say these are the things I use right as I land. So let's go ahead and talk about these. So right before I land, I like to make sure I'm all taken care of. So I get this travel Sephora cleansing wipes. I wipe down my entire face just to get the plain filth off. Then I will go in with my By Terry Cellurose Brightening Serum. This is skincare with a little bit of a tint. I use Apricot Glow. I just put this all over my face. It like evens out your skin. It brightens it up. It looks like you're really well rested even though you're not. I throw a little bit of that on. Then I get my Declior eye cream and this just helps depuff and brighten around your eyes. Once again, it's really lightly tinted so it covers up any dark spots or dark rings you may have. And then lastly, one of my new favorite products which I have another video coming today about is this Herbivore Botanicals Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water. I just spray that over my face one time, really hydrate and lock everything in, and I am ready to go. So that is all that I kind of keep to take care of my skin on the plane, and then there's a few more items left in the bag. So the next thing that I always have with me is my iPad Pro. I will watch my movies on this. I also take all of my magazine subscriptions and have converted them to my iPad Pro. So I like the fact that this is large enough that it feels like you're really reading your regular size magazine. And I use that. The next thing I have are my headphones. And I love the Beats Wireless Solos. And I have them in gold. They fold down, they're really nice and compact. And if they start to die, you can always wire them up and use them that way. But you can use them wirelessly or with a wire. Gives you lots of flexibility. The next thing I have in my bag, and this is really because I will be vlogging every day of the Paris trip, is my MacBook Pro. Um, and I have this amazingly cool copper glitter cover. Um, and I love it. I got this off of Etsy and it is so high quality and the glitter does not come off and it's just, look at that. Ah, oh, don't you love that? Um, I have my MacBook Pro. And then lastly, what I take in my bag are the things I need to feel well rested. And the first is this, I'm going to say this wrong, Cabio, Cabo Evolution Pillow. A, look how small this is, but as I unpack it, just wait. This is remarkable. It will slowly take back its shape and it is the softest travel pillow you could ever want. It is so comfortable. You could be a real nerd and snap it so that it stays. You could turn it around this way so if you sleep with your head down, um, it's just a really, really wonderful, wonderful travel pillow.
and I love it. And I can't get it off. It is stuck on. So now I look like a real wonderful nerd. There we go. <laughs> um, but it's just a really great travel pillow. I love that it's so big, but also compacts down into a really great small size. And lastly, it has a little spot for your cell phone, so you can slide your phone up in there if you wanted to. And then the very last thing in my bag is probably the most luxurious travel items you could take with you. Um, it is this eye mask and this blanket, and they are by UGG Australia. It is the UGG Home line. This blanket is the softest fleece lining. It is so wonderful. And the eye mask is also wonderful. It is so soft and comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything at all. Um, and if you've never traveled with a sleep mask, you have to start doing it because I'm telling you what, it really does help you fall asleep on the plane. You might feel silly putting it on, but honestly, it's so worth it. If you're not traveling with one, please, please do. And the reason I like to take my own blanket is I get really cold on a flight and that little paper towel blanket they give you is not nearly enough. Um, so I like to have like a really nice luxurious blanket and I also like to know that it's my own and that I washed it at my house <laughs> because I don't, I just get skeezed out about that. Um, so that is what I take on a long trip. That is what's in my bag. Mm, uh, I hope you found a lot of these recommendations helpful. If you have any questions about any of the products, please leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you are new here, go ahead and click subscribe. Also check out the Louis Vuitton giveaway so you don't miss out. And the deadline for that is February 20th. I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself. Take care of others and just be kind. Until next time, bye-bye.